Let's be real. Instagram gives you a lot of numbers. And while it's so easy to obsess over likes and views, the truth is that some metrics matter way more than others. Hi, I'm Sabrine, Senior Brand and Community Manager here at Buffer and an Instagram creator by night. And in this video, I'll walk you through the right Instagram metrics to track, how to find them right inside the app, and the best analytics tools available to you. Ready? Let's jump in. Why Instagram analytics matter beyond the basics. Back in the day, it was all about likes and follower count. Today, growth looks a lot more nuanced. Metrics like watch time, saves, profile taps, and even sends per reach can tell you a lot more about what's working rather than just relying on surface level engagement. Instagram analytics are a gold mine if you know where to look. Which metrics are actually worth tracking on Instagram? Here's the good news. You don't have to track everything. Just focus on the things that tie back to your goal. Here's a quick breakdown. Let's start with reach. If you're looking to build your audience, track how many non-followers are seeing your posts. Next, engagement rate. If you're looking to build a community, look out for shares, saves, and quality of comments. Average watch time. If you're posting reels, then this is the best metric for understanding attention spans. Lastly, profile visits and link taps. If you're primarily looking for conversions or traffic, then these are your key indicators. If you're using Instagram for business, use every post like a mini experiment. What got traction, what didn't, all the answers live in the data. If you have a business or a creator account, then Instagram gives you access to some core analytics right inside the app. Here's how you find them. Tap on a post and then tap on view insights. Or you can also go to your profile, tap on the three bars, and then head over to insights. From there, you'll see top performing posts, audience demographics, profile activity like visits and link taps, and follower versus non-follower reach. You can also use Meta Business Suite to compare analytics across Facebook and Instagram side by side. To check your analytics in Meta Business Suite, you can either simply open the app on your phone or head over to business.facebook.com. On your phone app, click on the hamburger menu and head to the Insights tab. From there, you'll be able to see how your Facebook and Instagram content is performing. Something to keep in mind is that native tools only show you 90 days of data. That doesn't exactly help you connect the dots. This is exactly where external tools come into play. Let's break down the best platforms based on your needs and budget. Let's start with Buffer, best for all-in-one social media management and analytics. And yes, we do have a free plan that allows you to plan and schedule content across three social platforms but analytics are only available on the paid plan. Buffer's paid plan starts at $6 a month. Buffer lets you schedule posts, manage comments, and track performance in one clean dashboard. What's special here is that it gives you recommendations based on your actual data, best times to post, which content types work best, and even your ideal posting frequency. Social Blade, good for quick, basic insights, starts at about $3.99. You'll get follower trends, average engagement, and post frequency. It is a lightweight tool that's good for monitoring growth or comparing influencers, but it is not the most detailed for strategy. Minter, best for agencies managing multiple accounts. It starts at $9 a month, and it brings together data from Instagram, TikTok, Threads, LinkedIn, and more. You can easily switch between accounts and get performance snapshots. Plus, you also get longer retention of stories data. Social status, best for campaign analysis, including ads and influencers. It also starts at about $9 a month and is a versatile platform if you run multiple campaign types. From influencer discovery to ad performance to competitive benchmarking, all in one place. Keyhole, best for combining analytics with social listening. You get everything from story metrics to hashtag performance to audience analysis, plus real-time social listening so you can stay on top of trends. Whether you're a creator, a small business, or a social media pro, choosing the right social media management tool can save you time, energy, and second guessing. If you're ready to give Buffer a try for scheduling and analytics, 
we've added a link below. It is free to get started. If this video helped you cut through the Instagram analytics noise, don't forget to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more content just like this, go hit that subscribe button. And hey, don't forget to tell us in comments what is your most favorite Instagram metric to track right now and why. See you next time.